So let's talk about the digital business card as you see over here on the right, you can see the screen. When you share your digital card, this is what it looks like. Your customer is gonna get this information and they're, you're gonna ask them when sharing, I need your name, I need your email, I need your phone number. Basic information that you can ask and they'll connect to get that. So once they connect and they give it to them, then this is what your customers and prospects will see on their phone under your contacts. So you can see how it's nicely laid out. They can click on, you gotta see this presentation to watch the interactive presentation. You might even say when you share your digital card, hey, the first thing in there is a, is a interactive presentation I wanted you to watch. If you put it in here, you now have two ways to get a hold. You give your digital business card and you can say, hey, watch my digital, uh, my interactive presentation. It's right there at the top. You're going to love it. Please get back to me. Or if I send this to you, will you watch it? Those kind of things like that to follow up. But slowly, methodically, putting your digital business card on your customers and prospects phone. So as you see that here's the interactive presentation. And the way I got that was I went onto my eye to side and just cut and paste the, the, the link for my, my uh, interactive presentation and just put it in there and saved it, right? So that's how easy it is. So you look on your Zoom, all it is is my Zoom link that I dropped in, right? And you're set all the way through. And then if you want to uh, add links, they're right here. You just click add a link. And you can decide if you want to add a website link or a LinkedIn or whatever you want to add. But whatever you originally put on the form for us, we're going to take care of for you to help you be as ready as possible to go. Now, let's talk about the About Us section. You can see that's really what's at the top. We have an incredible video that looks awesome at the top. See how exciting that looks? Uh, we have the P5 Nation logo that you can put on there. But really, you're just putting your name where you're from, friend, coach, and problem solver. I love that title, right? You can pick which color you wanted. She likes the gray. But really, we want to be consistent throughout. And this is your information that you'll then just save. So now you see the content of your picture, logo, background is all on the card over here on the, uh, on the right side. Content is what I, we just went over, where you have your content of what you want right here in these tabs. Now, you can see this tab is all the way across the phone, where these ones on the bottom are just squares. What we're doing there is we're using the highlight feature. So when I go to this, I'm highlighting. You can see where it's highlighted. That means that it's going to go across the whole phone. I can select a photo if one's already not there for me. I just titled this, you got to see this, interactive presentation, update, and save it. Now, for example, book an appointment and meet me on my Zoom. I could if I wanted to change the order of those. So you can see the little dots here on the side. So if I said, you know what, after they watch my presentation, rather than jumping on a Zoom, maybe I want to move this up where the next thing I want them to do is book an appointment with me. They just watched this presentation, but now I'm inviting them to book an appointment with me so that I could talk to them. The good news about the presentation is I'm already have all the information that they selected in the presentation. So now I want to make it easier for them just to book an appointment with me. So those are some of the things that you can do if you want to change the order a little bit, or you can say, look, Hey, jump on my zoom. I'm ready for you or book an appointment. And again, shop my ASEA. We're just putting in the ASEA shopping site. Okay. You decide after the basics that we recommend, you can decide if you want your Facebook group in there. Do I use WhatsApp? Do I use Telegram? Venmo? What else do I use to make it easy for my customer to do business with me? And we said uh, a few weeks back that, well, I might not use WhatsApp a lot, but if I have a lot of customers that might do it, that might not be uh, easy to work with because they want WhatsApp and I don't have it. 
So if you're in WhatsApp, you're going to probably have customers that use WhatsApp, just like Instagram, just like LinkedIn, just like Facebook. I always like to say wherever your customers are, that's where you need to be within this digital business card because that's where they are. They expect you to be there also so that you can uh, they can communicate with you easy. So that's the nature of the digital uh, card. There's also, for a lot of you might be doing events or mailers or flyers or whatever else kind of shareable content that you have. Right here's a built-in QR code where you can add a picture, you can change the color, I can download this. I can download this to my flyers, to my content, wherever I might want to do that. I have a built-in digital business card QR code where when my customer scans that, it takes them right to their contacts and they can save it on their phone. How about a virtual background? How about doing Zoom meetings where if my guests are on their laptop, but I want them to download my contact information, my digital card, you can put it right there on your on your virtual screen. So that's an example. Now, I'm giving you examples of things that you can do, but you don't have to do them all. You can start with just a simple digital business card and share with your friends. Then you can add some QR codes of things and events that you're doing, right? Or maybe down the line, how about a QR code that's ready for your email signature, where I could take this, download this, and drop it right into my Outlook or my Gmail. So again, when I respond by email, I have a nice presentation. People look and say, wow, Sue's professional looking with this email. And she's got a QR code that, hey, I could swipe that and I'd get exactly where I want to go because it's got all her contact information, right? There's other things that you can explore and have fun with, like the follow-up email after they download your card. But these are some of the things that you can do with your digital card. I'm going to, uh, Sue, do you, do you have any comments to add while I change the sharing? I'm going to try to share my phone at this point. Oh, I think that you are doing a marvelous job at explaining this. Um, you know, and it, it, and it's like when you have, I, I guess the thing that I want to add is over time in the more advanced stages, we're going to start teaching you how to have multiple cards so that you have one card that has everything on it. And there's a time and a place for that. You'll have another card that may not be quite as overwhelming to people or as much stuff. You may have, you know, another business, you may be a chiropractor. You'll have a primary business one with some links for ASEA on it. Um, but I hope that, you know, I, I guess the thing that I really want to say is, again, learning how to use tools, getting trained on tools and thinking about this as how these tools then fit into a system are the primary thing that your brain needs to wrap around right now. You know, you don't ever learn something the first time through and what we are going to do, we just talked about this today, on Mondays, we are going to have a two-hour segment with 25-minute sessions that you'll be able to know which one you want to attend. They will be recorded, all the fun stuff. Um, so on Mondays, we will have a Q&A session at uh, 10 a.m. Mountain Time for 25 minutes. Take a five-minute break. Then we're going to do an I Decide uh, 25 minutes, take a five minute break. Then we're going to do a um, 25 minute on the A Zoom. So we're going to have a tool day. If you can attend, that's great. There's going to be ways that we're going to make this so that, you know, Monday you start your day out, your, your week out right. You started out with energy, you started out with a new vision. We will have little pieces that we'll highlight on each one of those. We'll have like a three to five minute training on one piece, just one piece. How, what does this do? So I just want to say, don't get overwhelmed. Again, we're very new to putting these all together and helping you learn how to utilize them. So back to you, John. 
All right, great. No, those are those are great tips. I'm excited about the uh, the Monday sessions. I think that'll work out real good because when we go from one technology to the other, you can then see how these will fit into the system as well. So um, back to the Popple. Once you sign up, you're going to get an invitation, typically within 24 hours or less, you'll get an invitation from Popple to join Popple, where then you can sign into your account, which is what we have in, in the screen before when I was showing you the about and contact and Popple codes. That's where you can access through the web, the web browser, and that's popple.co. So it's popple, P-O-P-L dot C-O is where you can access that. And you'll get a welcome email and invitation to sign in with that. So the next thing is, and I think the most important thing is just like on the I Decide when we describe that, is to download the Popple app. So you go to P-O-P-L, you'll see what it looks like at the top right here, the Popple app. You'll download that from the Apple or the iTunes store. Uh, it, on your welcome email, it should have an invitation where you can click on to do that. But once you click on the Popple card, and again, this is after you sign up, after you've already signed up and have a car, uh, an account, that's when you want to download the Popple app. Because when you download the Popple app, it's going to ask you for your email and password. And that combination won't be available until after you sign up with us. So you will um, then create your or have your password and your email. And I'm just going to click on the Popple app. Kind of show you what that looks like. And just to describe, just real quick, as you saw me move that, you can have up to five cards already. We're going to talk about one card today. But this is the Popple app. So this is on my phone. And a couple things. What do we see here at the top? Scan to share card. From my Popple app, I could just turn my phone around and have someone uh, QR code scan right off my phone the digital card. So that's one way you could have it right there on your phone and someone could scan it and now they have your digital business card on their phone. The other thing is you can see where it says lead capture is on. I always keep my lead capture on because when I share it, uh, and I'll show you how to do that, but first is let's say I wanted to preview what my card looks like. You see where it says preview? How simple is this? I just hit preview. And now I can look and say, okay, there's my lead capture information that I'm asking my prospects to fill out. And once they do, I have different things that I have on my personal digital business card. So that's how you can preview it right there. But also, I want to be able to share my card. That's the whole purpose of it. I meet you in a grocery store. I meet you at church. I meet you after church. I'm meeting you anywhere where... I'm meeting you for the first time, or it could be a customer. Hey, look, let me show you this exciting new digital card that I have. Remember how you used to always have to text me and I'd text you back and you'd text me back? And well, guess what? I'm always here for you, but this is great because now you can have this right on your phone. So when you want to place an order or you want to go to my Facebook group or join my Zoom, it's all one touch away. So let me share that with you. Well, let's look at the button. The big blue button. I love when buttons are big because then I can see them. Big blue button that says share. So when I kick, click share, I can now share in different ways. I can share via text, via email, right? I can share any of these different ways. And all I'm going to do is share it. Let's say I want to share and text it. All I have to do is put in the number and a name. Hey, it was great meeting you at the grocery store today. I tell you what, I want to show you something amazing. It's on my digital business card, which basically gives you access to everything about what I'm doing. But what the reason why I want to send this to you is because my interactive presentation's on there. It's the first thing at the top. And if I send this, will you watch it? Perfect, because I want to get your feedback. I, as soon as I, as soon as I had this, and I thought of you or whatever. It depends on when you met them. But think about how you're going to be. Uh, be sharing that in some of the languages. And I think that's part of the training that uh, Sue and, and the leaders will bring to that. But all I would do is text my information and put a little message on there. But that's how easy it is to share. Now, let's look at the bottom of the app. It's got some of the techie stuff like settings and things you'll probably never necessarily use. But guess what? What does it mean when it says scan there? 
Well, I'll tell you what it means. When you click scan, what ends if I'm somewhere and I got uh, a old school paper card given to me? Well, normally I'd put that in my pocket and then it would end up, you know, who knows where. But now I can take a picture of that person's business card and then save it to my contacts. So basically it's lead capture. You give me an old school um, business card. I take a picture of it, all the content, my name, my email, phone number of your of your paper card goes into my lead capture card and I save a picture. So I can turn around and give you back the card. Well, what is that? Well, that's my digital business card. That's my popple. That's how it works. I can grab your information and now I have your information forever. Well, guess what? I'm going to share my information back with you. Sorry about that. And uh, I now have your information, but guess where my information is? The information that I just scanned your paper card and got, or the fact that I shared my digital business card and you accepted it, where's that information going to be stored? How about under leads? You see on the bottom where it says leads? Everything you need is right here. I could share. I could take pictures of, of paper cards and store them. Or guess what? I just hit leads. And now everyone that I've shared this with, Robert, Kim, and Sue, Everyone that I've shared this, look, even Dane is in there. Thank you. Terry Russell's in there, right? Everybody's right here. And these are the people that I can follow because they're in my lead capture. So if I shared my digital business card and some, and, and I did that by text, once they complete that information, it's now shared in my leads. Isn't that amazing? I now have their information and they have my information on their phone. Now we're doing business together because now I have their information and they have my information as well. So what I want you to do is after you sign up, download the Popple app and play with it. Share it with yourself. Share it to yourself. Open it up. Make sure all the buttons work. Make sure all the buttons in of your uh, LinkedIn or your Facebook or your PayPal. Make sure it's taking people to the right place because you need to be the first one to take ownership of this to test it out so it works for yourself. Once you're satisfied, well, send it to a friend and let them test it out. But do a couple of those basic kind of, I call them business housekeeping. Make sure it's all working. Make sure you know how to share it so that when you're ready to go out there, you don't need to share 500 of these. You can share two a day. Every time you meet someone, every time you catch up with something, it gives you a reason to call back someone you haven't talked to. Hey, I just, I got this new digital card. It's amazing. I thought of you. I wanted to share it with you. I'm going to share it right now to you. Is that okay? Will you watch it? You know, whatever you're saying, but don't blitz these things. Be methodical, grow your business and use these. And the idea is again, two and ten, two a day, 10 in play, whether it's the I Decide Interactive presentation, or just imagine if you shared your digital, digital business card with two people a day, guess what? A month later, you, your digital business card is now on 60 people, 60 phones. So I'll lead it, I'll open it back up to questions, but this is what I want you to do. This is what I want you to play with and, uh, and have fun with it. And uh, you can experience it for yourself that way.